Chapter 10 JK Rowling Learning Objectives 1. Success means having the courage, determination and will to become the person you were meant to be. 2. Fostering the qualities which can help individuals to accept all the challenges in life. Warm up. Ricky loves to read books. He got all these books as birthday presents. However, he is unable to find the name of the writer. Look at the pictures of the books and identify the name of the writer. Sucharda Dubey, 1961, is an Indian author of children's book and creative non-fiction that reflects the reality of contemporary India. She is a mature and versatile author with 15 books published by well-known publishers over a long period of writing career. She is presently working as a commissioning editor for Vishwakarma Publications, Pune. She is also a certified trainer in English and Business Communication. Do you know J.K. Rowling? Well, she is a British novelist, screenwriter and film producer, best known as the author of the Harry Potter fantasy series. Let's read the following passage by Sacharda Dube on J.K. Rowling. Please, please, don't let me fall to my death, pleaded the dark-haired girl. Just hold on tight and let me climb back up. Please don't let me go. I'll fall. This last was said in such a theatrical wail that it brought their mother running to the spot from the garden where she had been peacefully reading in the shade of a tree. Joanne, said their mother sharply, how many times have I told you not to play that awfully silly game? Don't you realize how dangerous it can be? Even as the first syllable of her name was leaving her mother's lip, the girl between the banisters had let go of her sister's arms. She fell, landing on her feet, the manner of her fall showing just how often both girls played their favorite cliffhanger game. The girls scurried to make themselves invisible from their visibly cross mother. They knew she was dreadfully angry. Why else would she have called Joe by her full name, Joanne? Joanne was born on 31st of July 1965 in Gloucestershire, England. Her father, Peter James Rowling, and her mother, Anne Rowling, had both worked in the Royal Navy before settling down. Joanne was always called Jo by her parents and family and was just short of her second birthday when her sister, Diane, who was always called Dee, was born. The sisters were thus not only close in age, they were also extremely close in childhood, although fighting like a pair of wild cats imprisoned together in a very small cage as J.K. Rowling has described it, or sharing games and stories, friends and daring escapades. Joe and Dee spent a good part of their time together, fighting sometimes with dire results. From the age of around 3 to the time she was 9, Joanne lived in Winterbourne on the outskirts of Bristol. Here, she went to a school that provided plenty of scope for crafts and creativity. As she recalls, I enjoyed school in Winterbourne. It was a very relaxed. I remember, I remember lots of poetry making, drawing and story writing, which suited me perfectly. Very fond of making up stories to tell her sister, Joanne wrote her first book at the age of six. This was called Rabbit and featured a rabbit which gets sick with the missiles and is visited by friends, including a giant bee called Miss Bee. Around the time she was seven, Jo and her sister were friends with a brother and sister named Potter who lived on their street. The surname was later to be immortalized as Harry Potter's last name. While the real person, Lan Potter, who was Joanne's neighbor, bears no resemblance to Harry's character, there are other figures from her childhood who are said to inhabit her books. Among them, her elderly headmaster at St. Michael's Primary School, Alfred Dunn, who turns up in Harry Potter books as Albus Dumbledore, 
around Joanne's ninth birthday, the family moved to Wales. It was around this time that Joanne lost her favorite grandparent, her paternal grandmother, Kathleen. Later in life, when her publishers felt that a book about a boy would not be appreciated by boy readers, if it was by a female author, Joanne added the initial K to her name in honor of the grandmother so that her name, J.K. Rowling, could be interpreted either as a man or woman writer. Joanne moved to her secondary school when she was 11. Here, she made firm friends with Sian Harris, who owned a turquoise and white Port Angelia. Zooming off into the darkness in Sian's car spelled a great deal of freedom to Joanne. Since life in the countryside meant that transport was erratic and she often had to ask her father for a lift to wherever she wanted to go. Sian was special not only for being the first of Joanne's friends who learned to drive a car, but also because he was the first person with whom she discussed her serious ambition to be a writer. He sincerely felt that Joanne would be a great success at it, and this meant a lot to her. She later dedicated the second Harry Potter book, The Chamber of Secrets, to Sian, and his car also features as a magic vehicle that takes Ron and Harry crashing into the Whomping Willow and finally disappears into the Enchanted Forest. The darker themes of sadness and loss in the Harry Potter books undoubtedly have a lot to do with the fact that her mother was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a crippling and degenerative disease of the central nervous system, when she was 15. Although it is possible for many people with MS to pursue a near-normal life with care, Joanne's mother's illness grew steadily worse after her diagnosis, and this cast a shadow over the whole family during her teenage years. From the carefree, rough housing with her sister to the deeper realizations brought about by her mother's illness and subsequent passing away, J.K. Rowling has captured a whole spectrum of action and emotion that particularly appeals to contemporary young readers. Sacharda Dube Find meaning, silly, foolish, banisters, handrails, escapades, Incidents involving excitement during our adventure. Erratic, changeable, roughhousing, engaging in a rowdy, uproarious behavior or play. Exercises, creative expression. Tell your story. Think of a dramatic incident in your own childhood and describe it as though it were the opening of a story. You can choose from the following. 1. The games you played as a small child 2. A dramatic event that involved the family 3. Something that happened on a holiday Can you think of anything else? Begin with dialogue as the text about J.K. Rowling does and use speech punctuation. Cross-curricular connect Learning by doing One day, Joanne, Joe was traveling on a train from London to Manchester in 1990, she had a brilliant idea for a new fantasy story. The idea was about a boy who wanted to be a wizard. With the help of the internet, find out more about the novel. Name of the novel, main character, number of series, how many books are sold each year. Critical thinking. Let's play a game. Help Joe and Toto to find their way through the maze and reach the wizard city. Logical thinking. Think of a word to go with each of these words from the passage JK Rowling. Write it down under matching word and identify its type, homonym or homophone under category. Word, matching word, category, whale, father, pair, dire, time, bears, felt, spelt, Great! Exercise time! Write the answer of the following questions. 1. When and where was J.K. Rowling born? Answer: J.K. Rowling was born on 31st July 1965 in Gloucestershire, England. Number 2. Whom did she live with? 
Answer She used to live with her family including her sister, mother and father. Number 3 When her mother called her Joanne instead of Joe, what did it indicate? Answer It indicated that her mother was angry. 4. What story did J.K. Rowling write as a child when she a character in it apart from the main one? Answer She wrote her first book at the age of 6, a story about a rabbit called Rabbit. Then, when she was 11, she wrote a novel about 7 cursed diamonds and the people who owned them. Joan went to school at Weijin Comprehensive School and then went to study French and Classics at the University of Exeter. Number 5. What were the origins of Harry Potter's name? Answer. The origins of Harry Potter name is it turns out that Harry Potter was actually named after his grandfather, J.K. Rowling, made his pretty significant reveal in a recent post on Pottermore. 6. What development had a profound effect on the young J.K. Rowling and how old was she at that time? Answer: The development had a profound effect on the young J.K. Rowling's mother suffered from multiple sclerosis at that time she was 15 years old. 7. Name the characters and objects in J.K. Rowling's books that existed in or were inspired by real life. Answer: Rowling said on Lockhart, I assure you that the person on whom Gilderoy was modelled was even more objectionable than his fictional counterpart. He used to tell whopping great fibs about his past life, all of them designed to demonstrate what a wonderful, brave and brilliant person he was. B. Find their meanings 1. Wail to cry or complain in a loud high voice especially because you are sad or in pain. 2. Fantasy Situations that are not true that you just imagine. 3. Scurried To run quickly with short steps to hurry. 4. Dreadfully Extremely disturbing. 5. Resemblance To look like or be like someone or something. 6. Imprisoned To put or keep in prison. 7. Dire very bad or serious. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. 1. Joe and D. Spent a good part of time together fighting sometimes with the dire result. 2. Anne Rowling, her mother, worked in the Royal Navy. 3. J.K. Rowling is the author of Harry Potter fantasy series. 4. Her mother was diagnosed with sclerosis. Number 5. Joanne moved to her senior secondary school where she made firm friends with Sean Harris. Match the following Novelist, Writer, Rabbit, First Book, Land Potter, Neighbor, Literary, Books, Royal Navy, and Rolling. Take the right options. 1. Joanne was born on 1. 15th August 1921. 2. 31st July 1965 3. 5 February 1885 2. Joanne was always called Jo by her 1. Friends 2. Parents 3. Relatives Answer 2. Parents 3. Around Joanne's 9th birthday, the family moved to 1. Wales 2. Bristol 3. New York Answer 2. Bristol 4. Joanne moved to her secondary school when she was 1. 9, 2, 10, 3, 11. Answer 3, 11. Conceptual Understanding Tell your story. Think and answer. J.K. Rowling did not call herself Joanne Rowling as she was known but was advised to choose the name J.K. Rowling instead. Why was this change suggested and do you agree with it? Communication Writing skills. Write a short autobiography. Consider including the following points. 1. Important events in a timeline starting from your birth. 2. An early memory such as when you started your schooling. 3. Special occasions or things that are important to you. 4. Your aims and hopes for the future.
reading skills. Read the following poem carefully and write a summary about the teeth of sharks. The thing about a shark is teeth, one row above, one row beneath. Now take a close look. Do you find it has another row behind? Still closer here, I'll hold your hat. Has it a third row behind that? Now look in and look out. Oh my, I'll never know now. Well, goodbye. John Cardi Summary Listening and Speaking Skills Listen to the text about J.K. Rowling and answer the questions below. 1. When and where was Joanne born? 2. Name her parents and her profession. 3. By what name J.K. Rowling was called by her parents? 4. Who was Joanne's sister? By what name she was always called? 5. How can you say the sisters were close to each other? Let's learn spellings. English can be tricky and a lot of times the words that sound similar may have different meanings. These words can get confusing if not used in right context. For example, accept, accept. Accept, she accepted the gift graciously. Accept, I can attend every meeting except the one next week. Make sentences with the words mentioned below. A. Climactic, climatic. B. Envelope, envelope. C. Compliment, compliment. D. Adverse, averse. E. Oral, oral. Now, do it yourself. Let's learn grammar. A. A noun phrase is made up of a noun and some other words. It functions as a noun. For example, the dark-haired girl, a very small cage, a favorite grandparent. Sometimes we use noun phrases to add clarity. For example, my cat Toby, the writer J.K. Rowling, her sister Diane. B. Underline the noun phrases in the following sentences. 1. The surgeons inserted a 3-inch steel pin into his left leg. 2. They have invited some well-known film star whose name I have forgotten to hand out the prizes. 3. We have patients in this hospital with very interesting diseases, you know. 4. Whose daughter is that blonde-haired little girl over there beside the garden gate? 5. Your very first task is to gather up all the dirty clothes that are lying on the floor and put them in the laundry basket. C. Underline the longest noun phrase in each of the following sentences. 1. The traffic lane was congested. 2. The willow branches shook. 3. The young trees are thriving. 4. He told an entertaining story. 5. He gulped down the delicious soup. Use the following noun phrases in your own sentences. 1. A new skateboard. 2. The latest gadget. 3. A well-known actor. 4. The great bear. 5. A challenging puzzle. Vocabulary time. There are many words in English such as bank that sound the same but have different meanings. These are called homonyms. There are other words that are spelled differently, have different meanings but the same sound such as new and new. These are called homophones.